dear students in this class i will consider few more examples on terrace series method which is a single step method that we have already discussed in our previous class so let me consider another example on solving first order ordinary differential equation with a given initial condition using teller series method problem number 3 you have teller series method you have tellers series method to find the value to find to find the value of to find the value of y at x is equal to point one and and x is equal to point two point two correct two correct two four decimal places four decimal places from 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 dy by dx from dy by dx is equal to x squared into y minus one with initial condition y is one at x equal to zero. So this is the problem <coughs> to be solved numerically using Taylor's series method, which we have already discussed. So the solution part. Solution. First, let us write down what is given in the problem and also state what is to be done in this problem. <coughs> okay. So given. Given. Y dash. That is the first derivative. Y dash is equal to x square into y minus one. Okay. Then x naught is given to be zero. I told you this is your x naught and this is your y naught. Y naught is one and x naught is zero. So x naught is zero. The corresponding value y naught is given to be one. Y naught is one, and next value of x is at point one. At point one. So that is the next value of x. So x one is point one. Corresponding y one we have to find out. Then another value of x, equidistant values of x. X two is point two. Point two is your x, and corresponding y two we need to calculate using Taylor series method. So clearly, your h is clearly, clearly, h is x1 minus x0 is 0.1, or x2 minus x0 is 0.1. So h is 0.1. H is 0.1. Okay. So we need to calculate <coughs> value of y at x is equal to 0.1, value of y at x is equal to 0.2 using Taylor series. Okay. So from Taylor series we have from From Taylor series, Taylor series, we have we have y n plus one. That is the value of x at x uh, value of y at x is equal to x n plus one. So y n plus one is y n plus h in divided by factorial one into y n dash. Plus h square divided by factorial two into y n double dash 
plus H Q divided by factorial 3 into Y n triple dash and so on. For n is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. Okay. So I need to calculate Y1 first. So Y1 or Y2, whatever it is. It involves numbers. So let me find all the derivatives. So given given y dash is y dash is x square by x square by minus 1. Let I put n is equal to 0 to find y1, n is equal to 1 to find y2. So let me first find out the derivatives so that I can easily compute y naught dash, y1 dash, etc. etc. So it's square y. So it's derivative. It's derivative. We differentiate this with respect to x. So you get y double dash. So product rule here, product rule 2x into y plus x squared into y dash. x squared into y dash. That is your second derivative. Okay, now third derivative. Let me finish all the derivatives here. Third derivative, again a product rule here. Product rule here. So this is 2 into x y dash plus 2 into y, 2 into y, that is differentiation of x is 1, plus a 2x into rx squared into y double dash, x squared, x squared into y double dash, plus 2x y dash, plus 2x y dash. So 2x y dash, 2x y dash makes 4x y dash. So you can write this as, 2y, you can write this as 2y plus 4xy dash plus 4xy dash then x squared y dash plus x squared y double dash plus x squared y double dash. Ok, so let me put n is equal to 0, 1, 0 and 1 to obtain the values. Numerical values are y, y1, y2 are the corresponding to x is equal to x1, that is 0.1, and x is equal to x2, that is x is equal to 0.2. Ok, so I will uh, remove this. Uh, I need space. Then 
why not triple dash? Why not triple dash is 2 into y naught plus 4 into x naught y naught dash plus x naught square into y naught double dash. So this is equal to 2 into y naught. Y naught is 1. 2 into 1 plus 4 into 0. Y naught dash is minus 1. Element is 0. Then plus x naught square. That is 0 square is 0. Y naught double dash is also 0. So this is going to be this is going to be two. Okay. So now substitute in two. Call this as equation number two. Substitute in two. Substitute in two. Substitute in the relation. So what do you get? Y1 is equal to Y0. Y0 is 1 plus H. H is 0.1. Already I have told you 0.1 divided by factorial 1 that is 1 over H. So 0.1 this is 0.1. 1 plus 0.1 into Y0 dash. Y0 dash is minus 1. So minus 1 uh, plus H square. 0.1 whole square divided by 2 divided by 2 into y0 double dash is 0 y0 double dash is 0 plus 0.1 whole cube divided by factorial 3 is 6 into y0 triple dash is 2 okay. so if you compute this y1 is equal to using calculator. So don't use, don't do manually. So using calculator, so if you calculate carefully, you get 0 0.9003. That is, y at x is equal to 0 0.1 is 0 0.9003. Okay. So, the value of y at x is equal to x square is 0 0.9003. Okay. Now, to find the next value of y, that is y2, at x is equal to 0 0.2, we fix n is equal to 1 in the equation 1. So, put n is equal to 1, put n is equal to 1 in 1. Then, you get y2 y2 is equal to y1 plus h into factorial 1 into y1 dash plus h square by factorial 2 into y1 double dash plus h cube into factorial 3 y1 triple dash and so on. Now let us calculate <coughs> y1 dash, y1 double dash and y1 triple dash. So y1 double dash is x1 square x1 square into y1 minus 1 so x1 is 0 0.1 so this is 0 0.1 whole square into y1 y1 is this 0 0.9003 uh, minus 1 minus 1 so if you carefully calculate this one, you get minus 0 0.9909, minus 0 0.9909, minus 0.9909. That y1 double dash, y1 double dash is 2x1 y1 plus x1 square y1 dash. 2x1 y1 plus x1 square y1 double dash. So now 
the substitute values for x1, y2. So 2 into 0 0.1, 0 0.1, x1 is 0.1, x1 is 0.1, into y1, point, y1 is 0 0.9003, plus x1 square, that is 0 0.1, whole square, into y1 dash, y1 dash is minus 0 0.9909. So if you carefully calculate, you get y2 double dash 0 0.170, 0 0.170, 0 0.170. If you carefully calculate this, you get 0 0.170. Now, why not y1 triple dash? y1 triple dash. So y1 triple dash is 2y1 plus 4x1 y1 dash plus plus x1 square into y1 double dash. x1 square into y1 double dash. But so substitute the values for x1, y1 dash, etc. So this is 2 into y1. y1 is 0.9003. 9003 0.9003 plus 4 into x1 is 0.1 x1 is 0.1 plus y1 dash y1 dash is uh, into, into, into y1 dash 0 0.1701 Zero one point one seven zero one close the bracket plus x one square point one four square point one square into y one double dash y one double dash is y one dash is sorry y one dash is minus point nine nine zero nine nine zero nine. Y one double dash is point one seven zero. Plus, 
plus h square point 0.1 whole square divided by 2 into y1 double dash. y1 double dash is 0.170. 0.170. Uh, one. Uh, one. Close the bracket. Uh, plus 0.1 whole cube. Sorry, right here. Plus plus 0.1 whole cube divided by 6 into y1 triple dash. y1 triple dash is 1.4059. So if you carefully compute, if you carefully compute, if you carefully compute, you get y2 is equal to 0 0.80 double two point eight zero double two zero point eight zero eight zero double two that is y at x is equal to point two is point eight zero double two point eight zero double two so we got the next value of y that is the value of y at x is equal to point 0.2 uh, as 0 0.80 Okay, so we have determined values of y and the specified values of x 0 0.1 and 0 0.2 with the help of uh, initial value using Taylor series method. So let me consider another problem. On the same single step, tell us this method. First we should write down 
what is given in the problem and also mention what is to be done. Hmm? Okay. So given, given y dash is equal to 2 into y plus 3 into e power x. 3 into e power x. That in steps of point 2 means h is given. H is point 2. H is given to be point 2. But so then, what is your x naught? X naught is, this is x naught, 0, 0. Y naught is also 0. Y naught is also 0. Then next value of y is 0 plus point 1, point 2. Eh? 0 plus h, eh? that is x naught plus h is x1. x1 is 0 plus point 2. Uh, so it is point 2. And corresponding y1 we have to find. Then point 2 plus point 2, that is your next value of x. Next value of x. x2 is equal to point 2 plus another point 2. So that is your x naught, x2. And corresponding value of y at x is equal to x2. That is y2 to is to be determined. Okay. So now, uh, okay, so from Taylor series, write the Taylor series first. From Taylor series, from Taylor uh, series, we have, we have, from Taylor series, we have y n plus y is equal to y n plus h divided by factorial 1 y n dash plus h square divided by factorial 2 y n double dash plus h q divided by factorial 3 into y n triple dash and so on y n triple dash so call this as equation number now let me <coughs> find the derivatives, successive derivatives, y double dash, y double dash. y dash is already given. So given y dash is uh, 2y plus 3 into e power x. Okay, differentiate with respect to y, we get to y double dash. This is a simple differentiation. So 2 into y dash, 2 into y dash plus 3 into differentiation of e power x is e power x over e power x over there. Then y double dash, y double dash, triple dash, third derivative is 2 into y double dash, 2 into y double dash, plus 3 into e power x. Since the function is very simple, you can have another term also, yn4, that is h power 4, divided by factorial 4, yn4, etc. etc. Okay. So y, fourth derivative of y is 2 into y triple dash plus 3 into e power x. 3 into e power x. Now we have finished with our derivatives. So I have considered one more term extra because I can easily find the successive derivatives without having any problem. Okay. So now <coughs> let me calculate. Let me calculate. So now put uh, n is equal to, I want to find y1 first. So I will put n is equal to 0 in 1. Put n is equal to 0 in 1 to get y1. So, I will this portion. Okay. So, put n is equal to 0 and 1. So, then y1 will be y0 y0 plus h divided by factorial 1 y0 dash plus h square divided by factorial 2 
factorial 2 y naught double dash plus h cube divided by factorial 3 y naught triple dash plus h power 4 by factorial 4 y naught 4 pressure pressure. So all this is equation number. So I'm going to substitute for y naught dash, y naught double dash, triple dash and <coughs> y at 4 to the derivative at x equal to x naught. Uh, 4 to the derivative of y at x equal to x naught. So y naught dash is here 2 y naught, 2 y naught plus 3 into e power x naught. 2 y naught plus 3 into e power x naught. So this is 2 into uh, x naught is 0, y naught is also 0. So 2 into 0 plus 3 into e power 0. This is equal to 3. This is equal to 3. Then <coughs> y naught double dash. Y naught double dash is 2 y naught dash. 2 y naught dash plus 3 e power x plus 3 e power x So this is 2 into y naught dash is 3 y naught dash is 3 plus 3 into 1 this is 3 so I get 6 plus 3 equal to 9 6 plus 3 is equal to 9 that y naught triple dash y naught triple dash is equal to uh, 2 y naught double dash 2 y naught double dash plus 3 e power x plus 3 e power x naught so this is 2 into y naught double dash is 9 plus 3 into e power 0 that is a uh, okay e power 0 this is 3 18 plus 3 is 20. 20. That's similar. Y naught 4 is uh, 2 y naught triple dash 2 y naught triple dash plus 3 e power x naught is equal to 2 into y naught triple dash. Y naught triple dash is 21 plus 3 into 1 is 3, e power 0, e power 0 is 1, okay. 3, e power 0, so this is 21 plus 3, uh, 42 plus 3, 45, so why not 4 is 45, now substitute in 1, substitute Substitute in one. Substitute in the relation R2 in the relation. So what do you get? Y1. Y1 is equal to Y0. Y0 is 0 plus H. H is 5 H is 5 divided by 1 into y naught dash y naught dash is 3 y naught dash is 3 plus h square point 2 whole square divided by factorial 2 is 2 into y naught double dash y naught double dash is 9 y naught double dash is 9 plus point 2 whole cube divided by 6 into y naught triple dash y naught triple dash triple dash is 21 plus point 2 raised to the power 4 divided by 24 into y naught 4 is 45 is 45 etc 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 so if you carefully compute, if you carefully compute, if you 
carefully compare. Carefully compare. You get y1 is equal to 0 0.8110. 0 0.8110. That is, the value of y at x is equal to x1. That is, y at x is equal to x1, 0 0.2. 0 0.2 is equal to 0 0.8110. So this is the value point eight one one zero. Okay. The next we have to compute the value of y at x is equal to point four. That is that means we have to find y two. So we get y two by replacing by replacing n by one in one. So put n is equal to one in one. Put 10 is equal to 1 in 1. Okay? So then you get y2, yn plus 1, 1 plus 1, y2 is equal to y1, y1 dash, y1 double dash, etc. Et uh, so I change here on the y1, y1 dash, y1 double dash, y1 triple dash, y1 triple. Okay. So let me call this equation as 3. Let me call this equation as t. Okay, so let me calculate y1 dash that is equal to 2y1 plus 3 into e power x1. 2y1 plus 3 e power x1. So I have to substitute here carefully. If you substitute, so 2 into y1, y1 is this. 0 0.8110 point 8 double one zero plus 3 e power x1 x1 is 0 0.2 now x1 is 0 0.2 so if you simplify this if you calculate using calculator you get 5.2862 so this is 5.2862. Now similarly, y1 double dash is y1 double dash is 2y1 dash 2y1 dash plus 3 e power x1 e power x1. Ok, now substitute here. So 2 into y1 dash. y1 dash is 5.2862 plus 3 into e power x1. x1 is 0 0.2. x1 is 0 0.2. So this is equal to this is equal to, if you carefully substitute okay, and simplify using calculator, so this is equal to y1 double dash 14.23 double 6. 14, 14.23 double 6. 2, 3 double 6. So y1 double dash is 14.23 double 6. Now let me calculate y1 triple dash. y1 triple dash is equal to what is y1 triple dash? Uh, 2 y1 double dash. 2 y1 double dash plus 3 e power x. 3 e power x. That is y1 triple dash. So this is equal to so this is equal to 2 into 2 into y1 double dash uh, 14 point 14 point 2 3 6 6 plus 3 e power point 2 
e power 100. So this is equal to, this is equal to, y1 triple dash, 32.1374, point, so right here, 32.1374, point, so this is your y1 triple dash. Similarly, y4, y4, y1, y1, y14 is equal to is equal to uh, 2 y1 triple dash 2 y1 triple dash plus 3 e power x1 plus 3 e power x1 so this is 2 into y1 triple dash is 32.1374 32.1374 7 4 plus 3 e power 0.2 x1 is 0.2 x1 is 0.2 and this is equal to this is equal to 67.9390 so uh, y14 is 67.9374 now substitute in 3 substitute in 3 right here substitute in 3 substitute now I don't require this because this is the end of this problem Substitute in three. Substitute in this relation three. Substitute in three. So y two is equal to y one. Y one is point y one one zero plus h is point two into y1 dash y1 dash is 0 point uh, five point y1 dash is 5 point 2862 2862 plus point of 2 whole square divided by 2 into y1 double dash y1 double dash is 14.2366 plus h cube 52 whole cube by 6 into y1 triple dash is 32 point 32 point 137 32.1374 plus point two to the power four point two power four divided by twenty four into y one four uh, is sixty seven point nine three nine zero so if you carefully compute this if you carefully compute You get y2 is equal to 1.4164. 1.4164. So that is y at x is equal to x2, that is 0.4, is equal to 1.4164. 4164. So we got the value. 1.4164. 1.4164. Okay. Now this completes the problem.
So now, few more examples, I think you will be able to find in my lecture notes, okay, which will be circulated to you through our e-learning center. Okay. Now let me consider the next single step method. Namely, modified Euler's method. Now, before we take up modified Euler's method, let us first understand what is the Euler's method. Of course, modified Euler's method is an improvement made over Euler's method. The next Christmas method from your syllabus is modified Euler's method. First, let us understand Euler's method first. So, the next method, a second method, <coughs> as from your syllabus, modified, modified Euler's method. Euler's. Let us first understand Euler's method and the theoretical meaning Euler's method. All these methods are described to solve in your particular course. <coughs> the differential equation of first order with given initial condition. So consider, consider. Consider dy by dx is equal to f of x comma y with given initial condition y is equal to y naught and x is equal to x naught. Now let me consider. Let me give the interpretation of this. Let me consider the xy plane. xy plane. y axis and x axis origin. <coughs> that y is equal to y of x be the exact solution of of the given differential with the exact or true solution, exact solution of okay. Let it let us represent by a continuous curve the exact solution or solution curve of this equation. Okay. So this is the uh, Exact solution. Exact solution. Our solution term. Our this also called as solution term. Solution term. The initial condition at x is equal to x naught, y is equal to y naught. Let us take this. Let us take this as x naught, x naught and this point will be at this let us say this is y naught and this point is x naught comma y naught, x naught comma y naught. Okay. Okay. Now let us say we want to find the value of y at x is equal to x naught. Let us say we want to know, find out the value of y at x is equal to x square. Okay? okay. So now, since the curve is almost a straight line in a very small interval, we approximate the curve by a tangent to the curve at x, not y now. So let me write, so just assume this is the tangent. Okay. 
So there is a tangent. <laughs> tangent is required. And this is, let us call this as x1, y1. And this is the true solution pair. So here x1, y1 is the exact value. This is the approximate value. Y1 the approximate value. x1 a is the approximate value of y at x is equal to x1. This is the exact value of y. That is true value of y. Uh, true, true value of y. And this is uh, approximate value of y. Approximate value of y. So let me write like this. Approximate, approximate value of y. Value of y. Approximate value of y. Okay, so now, okay, so since, since the curve. Since the curve is almost, almost a straight line, almost a straight line in a very small interval, in a very small interval, that is this interval, and its length is h. This is much depth length h. Interval. We approximate. We approximate. We approximate the curve by a straight line, by a tangent, almost a straight line. Uh, we approximate the curve by a tangent, by a tangent to the curve, by a tangent to the curve. At x naught comma y naught. At x naught comma y naught. Okay. <coughs> okay. So now. Now the equation of the tangent. The equation of the tangent. Equation of the tangent is equation. of the tangent of the tangent is y minus y naught is equal to m into x minus x naught m into x minus x naught where m the slope of the tangent Y1. Y is equal to y. So therefore, 
y1 minus y0 is equal to f of x0 comma y0 into x1 minus x0 x1 minus x0 otherwise okay but x1 minus x0 is h x1 minus x0 is h otherwise you can remove this a means approximate value e is exact value okay so so y1 is equal to y0 x1 minus x0 is h h into your form x0 comma y0 h into f1 x0 comma y0 okay so now similarly if you want to find the value of y at x is equal to x2 at x is equal to x2 at equidistant let us say this is x is equal to x2 at x is equal to x2 let us say this is x2 we draw a line through x1 y1 with the slope f of x1 comma y1 and calculate the next approximate value of y at x is equal to x2 and so on so similarly approximating again we approximate again we approximate we approximate the curve by the line approximate the curve by the line by the line through through x1 comma y1 with slope at f of x1 comma y1 with slope your form x1 comma y1 and obtain and obtain and obtain y2 is equal to y1 plus h to the f of x1 comma Similarly, y3. Similarly, y3 is obtained as y2 plus h into f of x2 comma y2. And in general, in general, in general, y n plus one is obtained as y n plus one. is obtained as y n plus one is equal to y n plus h to your form x n comma y n and this is for n is equal to zero one two etc. Now this is the Euler's method. So modified Euler's method is an improvement made over this. So let me consider now. The modified Euler's method. Modified Euler's method. Modified. So in the syllabus, only this is prescribed. This is only the prerequisite to study modified Euler's method. Modified Euler's method. Again, we use this method to solve the first order ordinary differential equation of the form dy by dx is equal to f of x comma y. If the given initial condition y is equal to y naught at x is equal to at x is equal to x. Here we predict the value of y at a given specific value of x 
by the eyelash method first. So that is the step one. Step one. Predict. Predict the value. Predict the value of y1. That is at x is equal to x1. Y at x is equal to x1. Using using eyelash method. That is the method which I just now explained. Eyelash method. That is y1 is equal to let us call this as y10 uh, for iteration purpose is equal to y0 plus h into f of x dot comma y. So using this formula, that is higher method, first let us find out y1 or y10, both are okay, no need replacement for this notation. Okay. Then in step 2, we correct this. This will be a true value, so we correct this one. Step 2, correct, correct the value of y1, correct the value of y1 using, using iteration formula, using iteration, iteration formula, iteration formula uh, y1 r plus 1 is equal to y0 plus h divided by 2 into f of x0 comma y0 plus f of x1 comma y1 0 y1 0 okay. So, with this method, what we do? We first find the value of y1 using eyelash method, then we connect it by the iteration formula. So, what is the geometrical interpretation of this? So, let me write the geometrical interpretation of modified eyelash method. Geometrical interpretation. Geometrical interpretation. Okay. Let's make it very simple. <coughs> Again, you consider the x y plane. X y plane Tangent. 
Let us call this tangent as. Assume this is a tangent. Let us call this as a dry tangent theta. Draw a tangent. Tangent theta to the curve. To the curve. At x star comma y star, whose slope is theta? Whose slope is theta? That is equal to x star x star comma y star. Let us say we are interested in. Finding the value of y at x equal to x plus. As you see, this is the actual value. Let us say this is x plus y plus. Again, uh, actual value of actual value of y. Okay. Then, and this is the to determine. So let us draw this as x plus. Y one zero x one y one zero is value of y at x equal to x bar. That is, we call it as y one zero. On the line delta, this is the tangent line delta. On the line, on the line delta, determine on the line delta is equal to delta. Determine. Y one zero. Determine. Determine. Y one zero. That is the value of y at x equal to x one. By Euler's law. By Euler's law. On the line L naught. That is tangent to the line at x equal to x naught by naught. At x naught by naught. Determine. Y one zero by I less theta corresponding x is equal to x corresponding 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 to x is equal to x corresponding to x is equal to x. So now draw a line. Draw a line. L one, L one, through x one y one zero, through, through x one y one zero, with the slope, with the slope, the form x one y one zero, with the slope x one y one zero. So let us write down that. Let us write down that. Let us say uh, this is the line L one. L one. Okay. Now uh, let us let us draw. Let us say M one. If the draw M one is equal to your form x one comma. Y one. Now draw a line. Draw a line. N two. N two. Again to the same point. N two. Draw a line. N two. Through x one. Y one zero. It is slow. With slope equal to the average equal to the average of slopes of L naught and L one, average of Y naught and Y one. With slope Y two, 
that has said this is M2, with the slope M2 equal to the average of M0 and M1. So therefore, M2 is 1 by 2 into M0 plus M1 or M2 is equal to M2 is equal to 1 by 2 into F of X0 comma Y0 plus F of X1 comma Y1 Now, oh, so N2 should be written now. N2. N2. Let us take this is N2. This is N2. N2 is a line drawn to the same point with the slope equal to the average of slopes of L0 and L. Okay, that's fine. Now, draw a line. Draw a line. L3. Draw a line. L3. Through X0 point. Through this point, x naught y naught. Through x naught y naught. With the slope equal to m2. With the slope equal to m2. That means a line parallel to l2, parallel to l2 through this design. That is. That is a line parallel parallel to N2 through through X not by X not by through X not by so Parallel to M2 through this. Okay. 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 So if you carefully draw. Okay. So this is the line. So at this point, let us call this as X1, Y11. Y1 Y1 Now as you see as you see this value is close to the exact value compared to the one determined by Euler's method that is the improvement here that is the improvement Okay, so we have drawn L3 through X0, Y0 with the slope equal to M2, but M2 is the average of slopes of L0 and L1. Okay, so now, equation of the line L3, so this is the line L3, equation, equation of the line L3, L3 is, y minus y naught is equal to slope is m2 m2 into x minus x m2 into x minus x okay. so therefore uh, at x is equal to x1 at x is equal to x1 on the line l3 at x is equal to x1 on the line on the line L3 at x is equal to x1 at x is equal to x1 y is equal to y11 y is equal to y11 okay. <coughs> so the substitute so y11 minus y0 
is equal to m2. m2 is 1 by 2 into f of x0 comma y0 plus f of x1 comma y1 0. x1 comma y1 0. Okay. <coughs> that is the average. 0. Okay. So therefore, into into x1 minus x0. Yet into into this one. Into x1 minus x0. So now, so x1 minus x0 is your edge, is your edge. So therefore, y1, 1 is equal to y0, take it to the RHS, y0, x1 minus x0 is h, h into 1 by 2, h by 2 into, into f of, x0 comma y0 plus f of x1 comma y1 0 x1 comma y1 0 ok this is a better approximation compared to this y1 0 that is the improvement see you can easily see this is very far away from the exact value and this is a bit closer to the actual value Though it is approximate value, but very close to the actual value. Uh, okay, so similarly, 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 y one two is obtained as similarly we obtain. We worked at y12, y0 plus h by 2 into f of x0 comma y0 plus f of x1 comma y1 1 and y13 is equal to y0 plus h by 2 into f of x0 comma y0 plus f of x1 comma y1 2 y1 2 oh, this way, okay. y1 2 and so on so general iteration formula can be written as y1 r plus 1 is equal to y0 plus h by 2 into f of x0 comma y0 plus f of x1 comma y1 r for r is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. So generalizing this, generalizing, uh, I remove this now, generalizing r in general, or generalizing, generalizing Generalizing, we can write this as y n plus 1 for different values of y, y naught, y, y 1, y 2, y 3, etc. For n is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3. For iteration, r plus 1 is equal to y n, y n, y n plus y n plus h by 2 h by 2 f of xn comma yn xn comma yn plus f of xn plus 1 xn plus 1 comma yn plus 1 r where where y n plus 1 r is y n plus h into f of x n comma y n x n comma y n 
Problems are modified Euler's method. Okay, thank you.